In this video, we're going to be looking how we can make changes to a database from Delphi side. And in our previous two videos, we looked at how we could insert a new record and how we can change current records. Here, we're looking at how we delete records that we don't want in our database anymore. And when we delete a record, it's actually the easiest thing to do. There's not many steps. It's actually just one step. And that is you just delete it. You just use the delete function. Now, we're going to be using a table called TBLCD. That's the ADO table that we are using. It's got a whole bunch of information about different types of CDs. And if you want to remove a CD from that data, from that table, um, we're just going to delete the record. And you just say delete. Um, the thing is, you need to make sure that the pointer, which you spoke about in the edit video, wherever the pointer is in the database is the record that you are currently working with. So if you press, if you call the delete function and wherever that point is, that will be the record that it deletes. So very important thing is to make sure that you move the pointer to the correct place. Um, whenever you're doing changes to a database, it's advisable to make a copy of your database um, so that if you make changes and they don't work out pro properly or you make a mistake, you can get the original database back. Um, but just something to be aware of, when you do delete a record, the pointer will automatically move to the next record after the delete, because the pointer has to be at a record, and if you delete a record, it can't be pointed at nothing. And that's going to come into effect when the thing that we have to consider for one of the things we discussed now, which is when we are deleting. If we're deleting one record, we can just make sure that you go to the right record. You can use a locate or whatever means you want to to move the pointer to the record you want to delete. But when you're deleting multiple records, we're going to use the traverse algorithm. You can watch videos about that on our YouTube channel. But that moving to the next record thing is going to come into play there, which we'll show when we do an example of deleting multiple records. We can do an example of both of them now. So here's the program we've been working on. As you can see, there is a database table. There's we've got all the different CD records there about CDs. And that is, if you see, there's a data module here. This is DMCD. It has the connection to the database. And this is the ADO table called TBLCD. And that is connected to this unit. Um, we have this data source, which allows us to view everything in this DB grid. So what we're going to do is, with this delete record, we are going to ask the user to give us a CD ID of one of the records, and we want to move it to that particular place using our locate, and then that will be the record we want to delete. Um, in our first video, we added a couple of records, these Lincoln Park ones, so I'm going to delete them. I want to delete that 152. I don't want it there anymore, so I'm going to use my delete button. So what we're going to do is, I've already done a input box which is going to ask the user for which CD ID they must delete. So I'm going to delete number 152. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a with DMCD. Now that you only do, you only use if you have a data module. If you've got a data module, yeah, instead of me having to type dmcd.tblcd.locate, all these things, I can just type tblcd.locate or .sort or whatever, .first or whatever. So what this with does is it puts the dmcd in front of it. Now, if you don't have a data module, if these non-visual components are in your main form, then you can just refer to them directly. But in our case, we don't. So I'm going to say with dmcd, that's the end of my width. It's nice to write comments so you can see what the begins and ends are for. So I want to make sure that I move to the correct record. So I'm going to use it if tblcd.locate. Okay. Uh, first of all, what's the field that I'm looking in? I'm looking in the cd underscore id field. Make sure you spell it exactly as it is in the database. So I'm looking in the cd id field. What am I looking for? I'm looking for this particular value, which should be asked the user for. So they've said we want to get rid of number 252. Then we must say, look for number 252 in this field. And then I'll put the square bracket. Now, if that equals true, then that means because the locate will move the pointer 
to the right place. It'll move it to 252. We will know if this happens. If we get to here, we know that the record was found and we are at the right place to delete. Then all I have to do is say, well, we're at the right place, tblcd.delete. Okay, it's normally good to give some sort of feedback. I'm saying show message uh, record deleted just so that I know that it happened. Some people like to put in a little message DLG to say, are you sure you want to delete this and stuff like that? You can do that as well. So if the locate is true, that means we found the record that we're looking for and we just go tblc.delete. That's it. But if we don't find it, it's always good to say if the locate is false then we didn't find it, so therefore the record was not found, not found, Whoa, what's happening here, oh, oh, that's something, I pressed something accidentally, there we are, not found, if that happens, then I'm just going to say, hey, we didn't find the record you wanted to delete, record not found, you gave us a, a silly CDID, so that's it, that's the easy step is just a delete, but you need to make sure that you are at the right place. So let's run our program, let's see what it does. So let's just double check at the bottom. Do you see 252? It's there. So let's go back up to the top. I'm going to delete the record. I'm going to delete record 1000. There is no 1000 record. So it's going to say, hey, the record wasn't found. But now if I delete and say, hey, let's delete number 152, click OK. Record was deleted. You notice we've gone to the bottom there. It's at, there's no 152. I mean 252, sorry. There's no 252. It was removed. And you'll notice that the pointer is now at the next record, which is going to be important when we delete multiple records. But let's delete number one, 253. I don't like 253. So let's delete. If I say 252 now, it says I couldn't find it because it's not there. But if I delete number 253, there we go, and the record's deleted. Okay, so that's deleting one record. Now, what happens if we want to delete a whole bunch of records? Okay, so in that case, we're going to do something like this. I want to ask the user, I want to delete all the rock um, CDs. All CD, I've got something against rock CDs in this case. I don't really do, but if I did, I want to find out which genre. I want to delete, so I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to use an input box as well. I'm not going to need to do any conversion because it's a string. So genre equals an input box, and we're going to ask the user, hey, give us the genre that must be deleted. So we want to delete all the rock genres. So we don't need to worry about the CDRD anymore. I can delete that. We are now going to get the genre. Now, in this case, you'll notice that we are deleting multiple records. Okay, multiple records. So what we're going to do first, we don't need to locate one record. So I don't need to do any of this anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to traverse the table. I'm going to go to the first record. You know, is this rock? No, move to the next one. Is this rock? No, move to the next one. Go this rock. Go there. Ah, that is rock. Delete it. That is rock. Delete it. That is what we're going to do. So now I'm going to say tblcd dot first. This is our traverse algorithm. While not tblcd dot end of file. While we are not at the end of file. And you've got your begin and your end here. End of our while loop. And then it's at the bottom here we're going to say tblcd dot next. Okay. I'm actually going to skip this part here, the next. I know that's part of the traverse algorithm, but there's a little trick that we need to be aware of when we are doing a traverse and we're deleting. We still need the next, but we've got to be careful of how we use it. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to ask the question. We will be at the first record when this first runs. So if I say, if TBLCD, if the genre at this particular point Remember square brackets, not curly brackets, Mr. Long. I keep putting curly brackets. There we go. If the genre of this record that we are at, in this case the first record, is the same as the genre that the user said we want to delete, we have found a match. 
then we have found something found a record to delete we, it matches our genre we want to get rid of it then i just go tbl cd dot delete that's it now if i do this tbl cd dot next this is going to be a problem because if it deletes the record you'll remember it deletes it and moves to the next record so when it gets here if it deletes a record it's going to go to the next record and then it's going to go to the next record again for the next so if we have a situation like this where we've got two rocks right after each other it'll delete coldplay move to the next record because that's what happens after you delete it and then it will move to the next record so it'll actually skip that rock so that's why you've got to be careful about the next you want to go to the next record but you only want to go to the next record if you are not deleting because the delete automatically goes to the next record so we don't need to go to the next record and then next again so we're going to say if we find a record to delete it's the right genre let's delete it if it's not then we must go to the next record because the delete automatically goes to the next record and if it's not deleting it we just go to the next record so that's the little trick there you need an else next if you are deleting multiple records especially if you check in which record to delete um, because the delete automatically moves to the next record after the delete function has finished doing what it needs to do okay so let's run this let's see if we can get rid of all the the rock albums i hope it works so let's go okay so there you can see there's the two rock over there we're going to delete all the rock that goes through all of the records and if i go right to the top you'll notice there's some numbers missing oh there's no more rock all the rock are gone okay so there we can see two pops do you see two pops right next to let's do the mistake that we said let's not put in the else if i don't put in the else if i just say delete the record and then next then you can see now when there's two things next to each other that are the same it won't actually delete the second one because it'll delete it move to that next record and then go to the next record after that so it does the next almost twice so if i do that now and i delete all the pop records so it goes through all the records now if i go up okay let's go through you will see that there are still some pop values in the database because the one before it was probably the number 43 was probably a pop record so it deleted it it moved the pointer to 244 and then we called the next pro so it went over to the next one so that's why that's a problem so that's why when you delete especially based on a criteria you need to delete or you are moving to the next record okay so that's it it's quite easy just go do the delete for more videos on this video series about working in delphi by manipulating a database or going to see the records in the database we've got a whole bunch of videos that re-explain this traverse that do the locate that do the sort um, all these type of things even the connection you can go to our youtube channel subscribe to it we've got all the videos there just go into playlists and you'll see all the topics that you can see there um, follow us on facebook follow us on twitter so you can see whenever we post new videos and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way